Hi YouTube, today I've got a quick video to show you an attachment that I made for my 2x72 home built belt grinder. Um, I needed a way to do some hollow grinding. Now when I built these machines, I built them with flat and convex grinding in mind. So they've got nice long platens and a slack belt area at the bottom and at the top. And I have spare platens, spare parts, all that kind of stuff for both of them. But anyway, I don't normally do hollow grinding. Um, about the only time I will do hollow or do do hollow grinding normally is to uh, take a little bit of meat off the inside of a full tang knife um, to give you a, a depression there on each side for the handle epoxy to fill, and it seems like it uh, it really helps get more epoxy in there along with like epoxy holes you know to uh, to make a better bond but uh, I had a good customer of mine uh, wanted me to make him a, a chopper with some fullers on it and I said well I'm gonna have to be able to do some hollow grinding on that I kinda doubt that I'm gonna be able to do you know good fullers basically grinding like this where because that's where I normally do my my full tang grinds there to hollow out for the epoxy. So I got to thinking about it, thought I might have to build a whole new grinder just to be able to do hollow grinds. But what I came up with is this right here. Basically I came out one morning, the thought hit me, and in about 20 minutes I had built this little attachment. Basically it is a uh, wheel from an industrial cart saved out of the salvage yard a water pump bearing that came out of some truck or car that I swapped the water pump out on a piece of one by three-ish uh, walnut that looked to be about the right size from the scrap pile a couple of C-clamps and a, uh, a shim. Now uh, here let me take the belt off so it's a little bit easier to see You can kind of see the relation to the platen to the bottom wheel. And then it just sits there and spins. Of course, I had to bore out the inside hole for, you know, for a press fit to the water pump bearing on my lathe. And then true up the outside, the surface of the wheel, to where it'll run good. And it's just held on there with a couple of C-clamps. <clears throat> so basically, you know, 20 minutes worth of work um, and some parts out of the, uh, the scrap piles. And I'll let you see it run. And can do some hollow grinding. <laughs> I think this is going to be a real neat uh, setup. One, first of all, for doing the hollow grinds. Now I can do the the fullers that I need to do. Also, uh, it'll be quite a bit nicer to grind uh, full tang knives. Grind the depression in the the handles for the epoxy uh, out here instead of you know trying to to grab on the corner of this. Um, this just gives me you know a lot more room to work and then uh, I can make pretty much any any size wheel that I can come across or need really I do have one coming on order um, it's a two but uh, two inch wide by two inch in diameter uh, commercial wheel I wanted to try it and see if if it would work the same way as as the rest of them just for the guys that don't have a lathe um, so it's a nice hollow grind here. You can you can just loosen up these clamps and pull them way out to pull the wheel way out if you want to. If you pull it out too much farther than this, you'll need to adjust the spring tension on your tensioning arm. And then also, uh, you know, any time that I wanted a really long slack belt, you know, if I was uh, 
doing more more work on the grinder for uh, handles usually I do my um, this right here is enough slack belt for me but if I was doing something that I felt I needed more slack belt well then it'd probably be easier to set this up to pull that belt away versus pull the platen off but anyway I'm pretty excited to see it and I thought I uh, uh, thought a nice cheap and easy way to convert your your upright home built belt grinder to do hollow grinds you guys might be interested in it see you next time